today's video is related to DSLP that is direct stroke lightning protection to protect any system or equipment from the direct stroke lightning this resbic method is used apart from that rolling sphere method so uh, this video is going to be uh, a lengthy one so i will split the video in three or four parts so this is part one let's see some basic uh, basic principles of this lesbic method let's start so and uh, after after seeing uh, this uh, this lesbic lesbic part then we will discuss uh, in detail how to calculate the protection radius for uh, from uh, for the protection from direct stroke lightning using the excel spreadsheet so let's start here this is as you can see this is the um, resbic method for direct stroke lightning protection system here these are the basics if you go through this uh, this chapter this is high voltage engineering protection from direct lightning strokes if you want uh, this copy i can share with you so uh, let me know in the comment box okay so this is the uh, direct stroke lightning protection system uh, using single single lightning mast this is protection zone of a lightning mast this is single lightning mast and this small h is the height uh, height of the uh, lightning mast and r is the zone of uh, protection radius radius uh, radius of uh, zone of protection from direct stroke lightning so this is single mast protection and how to calculate i will show you uh, with the help of excel spreadsheet also i will explain in detail uh, don't worry uh, this is uh, a little bit uh, complicated but if you can understand the basic theory then it will be easier for you okay here you can see this line for determining the radius of protective zone of a lightning mast of height h greater than 30 meter the values obtained from from this equation from from these two equations uh, must be multiplied by coefficient p equals to 5.5 by root h so keep in mind this formula p equals to this is the coefficient uh, factor 5.5 by root h where h is the small h is the height of the lightning mast okay then here h h0 equals to h minus a by 7 okay so for the single mass uh, direct stroke lightning protection let's go to the excel spreadsheet this is the sample calculation here using the theory what we have just uh, seen suppose the tower tower name is lm1 the height of the lightning mast h small h that is equals to 34.5 meter and the level of the object to be protected the level of the object to be protected that height is hx is denoted by hx which is 13.8 meter so we have two um, uh, uh, two information here one is the lightning mast height another one is the um, level of the object to be protected at which level that is 13.8 meter okay so the coefficient p what uh, we have seen now so the coefficient p is given by p equals to 5.5 by root h for h greater than 30 meter 
otherwise this value will be 1. Let's check once again. Yeah, here it was written. Uh, let me uh, height is greater than 30 meter. The values obtained must be multiplied by the coefficient p equals to 5.5 by root h. So we have used this formula here because the height h uh, height of the lightning mast is greater than 30 meter, which is 34.5 meter. So this is 5. Point, uh, this will be multiplied by this coefficient 5.5 by root h. So the p value of p is coming. Coefficient value is coming. 0.936 using the formula ok now the radius of protective zone at level hx this is given by this formula rx rx equals to 1.5 h into p into 1 minus hx by 0.8 into h this is applicable for hx for hx less than two third of h otherwise this will be simply 0.75 h into p into 1 minus hx by h where from this formula is coming let's check here here is the formula here is the formula rx this is the radius of protection you can see this hx greater than two third h in that case this will be uh, this formula will be applicable otherwise this formula so using this formula this value of rx is coming as 24.229 so here is the here is the simple uh, here is the uh, for formula which is not simple a little bit complicated <laughs> but uh, these are the two main equation to calculate the um, radius of protection radius of zone uh, zone of protection so uh, we need to check whether this hx is uh, less than two third of h or not if it is that then then you need to follow the first equation otherwise the second equation so rx is value as 24.229 so this is applicable for the uh, individual individual lightning must so wherever uh, suppose uh, there is a standalone uh, lightning must and there are some outdoor equipments so with the uh, so using the single lightning mast we can protect the the objects which uh, which have uh, their own heights suppose not at ground level this means this hx means these objects are not in ground level maybe at ground but the peak of the object uh, that should uh, that should also be protected so the peak of the object is 13.8 meter so the effective effective height of the lightning mast is basically h minus hx 34.5 minus 13.8 so in this video we have uh, discussed uh, for the individual lightning mast direct stroke lightning protection